Hey guys, David here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Dave D Fishing. So in this video, you're gonna hate me again. I'm going for carp. So um, I really want to break that 25 pound mark. Um, I got a 20 and three quarter pound one um, about a month ago at this point. It's sort of weird to say that, but time flies. So we're on the Connecticut River. I haven't found, oh, I'm using my kayak, obviously. Got a little of everything in here. So um, yeah, just looking for a spot to post up and taking a look at the bottom over here. So it's pretty sandy over here. Um, never fished this area before, it's new to me. And so I'm just doing some investigating, see if I can see some fish showing themselves. And we'll go from there. And I'm looking for a little finger clams, or they're called fingernail clams, the little tiny ones. That's what the um, carp eat over here. What? Ooh, something just swam by me right there. Um, yeah, so when I've caught, caught carp in the Connecticut River, they're filled with these little tiny um, fingernail clams. So I brought a bunch of additives that have like a shellfish scent to them. So I'm hoping that'll be um hopefully work in my favor so all right let me find a spot it's a nice little slack spot over here but it's a little little too shallow for my liking so all right guys let me find a spot to fish all right guys i think we found our spot so this is actually a little island um and right underneath me we're not very far from shore we're maybe 50 feet from shore and it drops off to about 20 feet i just checked it with my sinker and should be plenty of depth and the bottom looks clean. It doesn't look like there's a ton of debris around. So I'm going to get my kayak staked up over here and I actually sit on the shore over here and chill out. So it's sort of nice. Ooh, big pile of rocks. So, all right, yeah, we're going to, um, let me go around the other way and we'll do this in a manner that doesn't destroy my kayak. So, all right, let me get set up guys. All right, guys. So I'm staked out. Right here, I just put the parking pole, one of the scupper holes over here. Um, rod on the right, got a 15 mil boily with a piece of fake corn. And on the left, I got a wafter. It's a little 10 mil wafter, so I don't know what they're gonna want, but we're gonna try a little of everything. And then once they start biting, we're gonna stick with that. It's pretty simple. All right, let me get these cast out. All right, while I wait for a bite, you never know what you're gonna find on these uninhabited islands. So all kinds of trash over here, which is sad, but also makes me wonder what else is lying around. So if I see anything interesting, I'll let you know, but pretty cool little beach on this island. So my rods are set up down over there at the very corner. Rod on the right has boi has a boilie on it with fake corn, and the one on the left has a wafter. And here's my kayak with all my crap all over it. Stake out pole, I love that thing. But, oh, something's getting, getting a nibble right now, actually. Oh, oh, that's a good one right there. I almost ripped my rod in the water. That's a that's a good fish. Oh uh, yeah, might be a catfish though. You never, you really never know in here. Good, he's gone way up and beyond my other line, so that's good. That was a good hit. So this is on the Fruity Tuna 15 mil boiler, and I put um, the Belgian um, CC Moore little additive on there. I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, this is a good fish. A lot of rocks over there though. Whew. What a rip. Uh oh, jeez. A lot of rocks over here. I mean, I waited a while for this thing, but you know what? It was worth it. Just worried about my other rod flying off. Can't wait to see what this thing looks like. So I actually was looking through my stuff. I, <laughs> I stupidly, I stupidly forgot my scale. Oh man. Oh man, that's a nice fish. Uh oh, hopefully it doesn't pop off. 
Come here, bud. So this is actually pretty nice. This is like a little tide pool or a little pool in here. Oh man. Well, if I get him in, he's definitely over 20. He's over 20. Oh man. Oh, come here, bud. Oh, hopefully that hook doesn't come out. Come here, man. Oh my goodness, in the net. Oh, all right, oh my goodness, all right. Whew. I got my fake horn, oh, get my fake horn back. I need that, that's over, wow, that's over 25. Oh my God. That's a big fish. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I get, all right, all right, bud. All right, let's get this hook out. Wow, what a tank. Wow, he destroyed that um, blowback tubing on there. It's gone. All right, let's see. Zero. He's 30, 34 inches long. Let me get a girth on him quick. And the girth is 21 inches. So uh, I'm not sure what the weight on that is. Like I said, don't have a scale. So let me get him, slide him back in the water. Look at the size of this carp. It is huge. I'm hugging it right close to my body. It's a big fish. All right, let's get him back. And you look at the size of his tail related to my wrist. Holy smokes, yes! All right, guys, so caught a couple fish. A um, couple shorts, and I got a large one so far. It was like 30... 34 inches, a 21 inch girth. So help me out with the weight. You think you're, it's approximated? It's definitely heavier than that 20 pounder I got um, a month ago. So um, yeah, lots of rocks over here. I already, already lost a couple rigs. There's a, a line of rocks from right at the edge of this island right here and it goes straight out like that. Um, so I gotta let the fish run way out this way or bring them in pretty quick but the tide is going that way so i have a feeling i have to let them take the long way around and reel them into this little deeper cove over here it's a it's a hard spot to fish but um, especially when the tide's coming in i can't imagine when it's going out actually because um there's more rocks to my right too i think so i don't think that's going to be any good so let me see yeah, that's going to suck um, if I have to bring a fish up over here because it's like this large, slippery, mossy stone. But um, I caught a, my personal best fish, so it was worth the trip over here in my kayak. Um, I wanted to post up on a spot at the edge and just sit in my kayak, but you know what? This is more comfortable. It's more fun. I got to take a little trip out in the Connecticut River. I, like I said, I've never been to this spot over here and it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's my little setup over there. You got a lighter and stuff in my kayak. I could heat up some noodles if I want, but um, I'm only gonna stay here for a couple hours and then head back to the hotel. And then I don't know if I wanna come back here tomorrow or not, if there's fish this big over here. Um, might have to do it, but we'll see. All right, let's um, wait and see what these boilies bring us. I switched both rods to those fruity tuna boilies with that Balachian CC more um, additive and it worked. I also, I also did get a bite on the wafter. So I think there's large shoals of carp uh, coming through here and they're just eating whatever's on the bottom. So I don't think it matters at this point. So I'm gonna try and use whatever I have the most of and um, use up that supply and then move on to other stuff if need be. So, all right, let's wait. So obviously the wind's picked up a little bit. I um, think I'm gonna head home. So I heard some thunder in the distance. So pack up, we will try somewhere else tomorrow. Um, the spot was, it was good, I guess. I got I got four or five bites. Um, got a couple small fish, I'm not two, in the, I don't know. They're, to me, they're not worth showing at this point. So 
Uh, we're gonna try a different spot tomorrow and see if we can't catch another fish like the one, uh, the bigger one I caught today. That'd be nice. So I had to dry out my clothes. It got soaked by those fish earlier, but um, this was a good day. Um, so yeah, now I gotta make my way upriver. So hopefully make it there before the rain starts, but good day, good day. All right guys, so weirdly enough, so I left that other spot um, and on the way back, the sprinkling stopped and I found this little bay right here. So I said, why not? So I still got a, got a couple hours before I have to check into the hotel. So see what I can get. Probably a bunch of small fish, I'm guessing. I might be wrong, but um, hope for the best and expect the worst. So we'll see. Really close to the highway. It's sort of annoying, but um, hopefully the fish don't seem to mind it. So yeah, get all my crap out on the kayaks. Not much space over there. So let's keep it here and we'll see. Just got a bite over here. Oh, it sunk up to my knees. <laughs> I knew it. I was like, I'm not going to get my net ready. All right, whatever. Let's get this thing in. Can't tell which way he's going. I was just, just thinking about getting my net ready. Oh, oh, don't do it. I feel sticks. Oh, no, that's a nice one, too. Holy smokes. Nice fish. Oh, it's a fantail. Oh, you're coming with me. Oh, that's a nice fish. That is a huge, that's a nice fantail. Come in. Wow. Look at that thing. Not a big fish, but oh my goodness, the thing's beautiful. All right, let me get this thing off the hook quick. All right, let's get him back in the water. What a beautiful fish. Look at the fins on that thing. Gorgeous fish. Hey, right, bud. There he goes. Come on, go ahead. Come on, buddy. <sighs> look at the look at the finish on that thing. There he goes. All right, guys. Day two. Trying to get some bigger carp today. So um, another new spot again. <coughs> Still obviously near the highway. It's gonna be a little loud, but it's all right. So I found this little back bay over here. Um, it loops back around to the main part of the Connecticut River. So I'm just looking for any sign of life at this point. Jumpers, bubbles, um, yeah, anything I can see or hear, I'll take that. So uh, I'm going to cruise around down this direction for another 10-15 minutes, see if I can find something that's not too far away from my car. So, all right, let's give a look, see, see if we can't find something. All right, guys, so that's it for the carp fishing for today and yesterday. We're done. 
Um, didn't catch anything today at all. It was dead, so I don't know if it's um, an afternoon bite. So I got here late yesterday afternoon, like two, three o'clock, and it seemed to be when they were biting. Today, nothing. So beautiful spot, though. Quiet. I'm probably the only one that's ever walked over here. I wouldn't doubt it. But yeah, beautiful place. Um, hopefully, I'll be back soon. This looks like a good spot for white perch when um, they start coming in in the spring and late fall so maybe even pike in here so okay guys gonna get home so thank you for watching if you found this at least entertaining please give a li like and subscribe thank you